Alright, so now it's time to configure RAID 5 where we want to achieve performance and fault tolerance. In order to do that, you will simply right click and say new RAID 5 volume, press next, and then uh, you need to have at least three hard disks. So that is the main thing. With RAID 1, you get fault tolerance, but if you want performance and fault tolerance, you need to use RAID 5 and you need three hard disks there. Press next, D drive is good for us. Um, and then I will label it as data again, perform quick format, finish, and yes. So uh, once the volumes are converted and created, you can see that uh, it is now uh, ready. If I go here, uh, I should be able to see my drive. And in here, I can create a new text file. Let's just create some more so we have enough of them. If I go back here and right click and offline one of the hard drives that I have, you can see I still have access to my data. But what if I take this one offline too? And then go back here and I don't have my D drive, right? So that is the downside. If one is down, you're good. But if two is down, then you're not able to access the data. So that's why we have RAID 6. So with RAID 6, what happens is even if two of the disks are offline, you are still able to use um, your disk because RAID 6 provide that feature. So just keep in mind.